Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Race two, 250A. This is the big race right here. This is one of the big ones. Mike. I know that uh, it's been a long time since you've been here, but do you remember the last time you raced the 250A race here at Loretta Lens? I do. It was the 450A. 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 And that would have been? 2004. Yeah. Wow. Here we go. Gate drop, 250A, second moto, whole shot goes to... Mike would have been in looks the first like, turn looks already. Looks like That's Derek why. Drake. Yeah. Pretty sure that was Derek Drake, yeah, number Derek 33. Yeah, Derek Drake, KTM man. Yep, you can see that neon green gear. That's Mitchell oh, Falk. Oh, no, Mitchell Falk is his teammate, actually. Falk They got the, the same 62. gear. I same know, gear. same gear, same team. All right, we'll give you a mulligan on that. Mitchell Falk out front. <laughs> oh, oh, Hamaker just went down in the second turn. Yeah, he just did. I saw him picking up his bike. Under the Red Bull arch. That is going to prove costly to our first moto winner, Seth Hamaker. Through the Ten Commandments we go. Number 58's leading. Yeah, that's Justin Rodbell on the 58. Rodbell was strong in Open Pro Sport earlier, looking for a moto win. Going to try to challenge Mitchell Fox. So Fox could be the man to capitalize fourth in moto one. But our moto one winner down early here in moto number two. This so it's going to be a wild one. Jason, this is going to be a barn burner. This is going to be an awesome race because right now Mitchell Fox coming in with a fourth in the first moto, looking at a win in the second moto. I know it's early. It's the first lap, yep. obviously. But you know what? Looking at big picture, he's out front. And he's, uh, he's got himself uh, the overall at the moment. Justin Thompson, I think, is the Yamaha man moving forward there on the number 16 that you're watching out of South Africa. So that's Thompson on that blue Yamaha 16 trying to move forward. Be interesting. We'll know exactly where Hamaker is once they get through the finish line. We'll have the full transponder screen. But what do you think, Mike? Was it everybody getting by him? Do you think he's going to be about last by the time he picked that bike up, or is he in a better spot than that? Uh, he's a good enough rider. I'm sure he picked himself up. He's okay. probably going to be somewhere around the top 10 would be my guess. Okay. But th that's just a complete guess at the first lap right now. I can't. We can't see him in sight, but as they come around right now, Mitchell Falk first, Justin Rodbell second, Justin Thompson in third, Derek Drake in sixth, Tanner Stack in tenth, Lance Kobush 12th. It's up for grabs right now. 15th is Seth Hamaker. How did he salvage that? 15th after lap one, not bad, considering the crash right through here. Meanwhile, Mitchell Falk is getting away. Rod Bell and Thompson, second and third. Dustin Winter, I guess in a winter that doesn't have any snow, you have Dustin Winter, fourth. And then Josh Guffey is fifth. So Derek Drake, sixth. Thank you, Megawatt. Sixth, Derek Drake, 10th, Tanner Stack. 15th, Seth Hamaker. That was one, two, three in the first moto. 6th, yep. 10th, and 15th now. Right, right now, Mitchell Falk is making hay while the sun shines. He knows a 4-1 is going to put him in the overall at the moment going into the third moto, and he's pinning it right now. He is going it, dropping the hammer. Justin Rodbell in second on the number 58. You see the orange pants on the Yamaha. Then it's Justin Thompson out of South Africa coming through next. Dustin Winter fourth. Guffey is fifth on the number 98. I think that's the black Yamaha. And then it will be Derek Drake. So who's going to make moves first? Will it be Drake moving to the front? Will it be T-Stack, who is 10th? What can Hamaker do from the back? I would look for Hamaker to be close to inside the top 10 after this second lap. But uh, yeah, we're, we're going to see who's men. Right? I mean, right now, Tanner Stack has the most to prove right now because he's coming in with a third and Mitchell Falk coming in with a fourth. So those are your guys right now at the position and looking at being in the overall position going to the third moto. But like I said, it's still early. We still got a lot of racing to go. We're three minutes and 20 seconds into the second moto. Stack, if I recall, was actually pretty strong late in the first moto. That's part of the reason he was able to get it on the podium. Hey, battle beginning to brew here. 32 is Dustin Winter, and he has Derek Drake all over him. So Drake has made a pass. He's gotten around the 98 of Josh Guffey. He's in fifth. Drake's got to get himself up in a podium position here. I hear they come back around. Tanner Stack. I just saw Hamaker. He was right behind him. Yeah, so Hamaker right now ninth, T-Stack in oh, eighth. Oh, yeah. That's your first and third finishers in the first moto. So they can run through traffic together, Stack and Hamaker. Hamaker just threw down a 155 in traffic, Stack a 157. So Hamaker's wow. making moves. These boys are pushing really, really hard. Here we got Justin Thompson on screen riding good here in third. Trying to push down Justin Rodbell here for second, trying to make a move here in the Ten Commandments. 
Now look, every track the start is important and a bad start's a bad deal, but I feel like this track has been pretty raceable, Mike. There honestly, are ways to make passes. Honestly, there's lines everywhere. You look in the corners, there's more than two, three, four, five ruts in the corners. So anybody who says they can't pass, that's, that's that, that you can pass anywhere on this track today. We know what you meant, bro. We know what you meant. It's cool. <laughs> Tanner Stack, uh, I know he does a lot of riding at Club MX. Did you ever work with him during your time down there? All the time, he's a good kid. You know, I really enjoyed my time down there at Club MX. Good people and uh, good facility, good training. Um, but yeah, great kid. And yeah. uh, I look for him to push hard in this moto and get back up into the top five, maybe even the top three. But he's got a lot of work to do. Him and Hammerker, they're kind of like pacing each other, honestly, coming yeah. through the pack in ninth and tenth right now. Okay, Mitchell Falk out front. Rod Bell still dealing with Justin Thompson. Those are the two riders on your screen right now, the 58 and the 16, second and third in this 250A moto. Dustin Winter on the number 32 would be next, but Derek Drake is trying to get him. Not quite there yet. All four riders are basically in the same shot right now. Look at that oh. battle for second. Little mistake by Derek Drake, but he recovered nice. There it is, got the pass done. Thompson got gets it. second. Well, I gotta admit, I've never heard of Thompson. He's out of South Africa. I don't know if he's raced here at Loretta's before, but he's riding well right now. Oh, Rod Bell's trying to come back. He sure is. Ooh, they're gonna almost collide behind the billboards. Rod Bell got him back. <laughs> he didn't hit a deer like some other South Africans. That's the good thing. Looking at our guys that finished Drake. first and third in the first moto, sixth and seventh, Tanner Stack, Seth Hammaker in seventh. Drake, Clint I think, made the move. He was trying to get Dustin Winter in those twisties after the start. Let's see. Yes, he did. So he's made another pass. Derek Drake on the TLD Red Bull KTM trying to make it happen. These two Yamaha riders still side by side. Rod Bell and Thompson. They're so close you could throw a blanket over top of them. A Yamaha blue one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they'd be happy. That's like a poster shoot right there. Yeah. Oh, but Derek Drake's going to try to spoil that party. He made the move on Winter. And I don't think Drake's done. All the guys, that they don't even w realize it, but T Tanner Stack and Seth Hamaker are just behind this lead group. Wow. Already. That really didn't take long. We're only six minutes into a 20-minute moto. Drake, another pass. So, wow, Drake has moved from sixth to fifth to fourth, now to third. Yeah, he's, ri he's riding very, very good right now, that Derek Drake. And there it is. He just Woo! moved into third place, just like that. Oh, gave him a little attitude brake check just to make sure. <laughs> so Drake has passed both Rod Bell and Thompson. That would be second, and Drake second in Moto 1. Now would be looking 2-2 two -two going into Moto number 3. And even happier hey, hey, would be this TLD hey, hey, team look pretty, because they just are 1-2 the in done. the Moto. Falk and Drake are 1-2 right now. So the pressure is on. Tanner Stack. Here they come. Seth Hamaker, but yeah, you can see him back there, the green machine. That's Tanner Stack on the 38, and here comes Seth Hamaker on the 51. Hamaker, you're a Monster Cup, or Monster Energy Cup amateur all-stars champ last year. Won a lot of titles at Loretta's as well, but this is a real big moment in his career. If he can come from behind in this moto and stay in the hunt for the 258 championship. Behind the billboards. Dustin Winter right now in six, getting pressure all over from the Seth Hamaker on the Monster Energy Kawasaki. Oh, and Roost up and down. Up around the oh. outside, keeping momentum. That looks like it's going to be the... Oh! oh! They almost came together. Hamaker, how about him letting that thing slide around the outside and try to set himself up for hey, a pass? You know what? It don't have to look pretty. You just uh -huh. got the job done, and that was a great pass by Seth Hamaker to take himself and put himself in fifth position with a 5-1. That's six points going in the second moto. Oh, he's going to get more, Mike. He's got those Yamahas right in front of him. You can see he's locked in and focused It's now. like blood in the water right now. Uh -huh. A shark, he's just like, darn it, darn it. He's on the move. <laughs> So Hamaker down with a mistake on lap one, has climbed up. Where's uh, Tanner Stack in this mix on the 38? Just made another move. It looked like it was on uh, Rod Bell. Okay. I'm so pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Tanner Stack's in third now. All right. So Tanner Stack, don't count him out. Derek Drake, Tanner Stack, the cream is rising to the top. Oh, I got checked up by uh, that Thompson. That was uh, Thompson. Yeah, yeah. That held up. The mistake by Thompson held up. But there's the Hammaker. pass. Hammaker just got by Thompson. That puts him fifth place, I believe. Yeah, fifth place. Just ahead of him is Rod Bell, which yeah. he's, ma he's making up gobs of time. Every single corner, he's making a tenth or two. Yeah, boy, we thought 
Will he have enough time to make these moves? We're only halfway through the moto, and he's pretty much made them all. The cream is rising to the top. Right, I mean, immediately. He, it, he may have fell in that second turn, but he's put on the charge, and he's come back, and he's already up into the top five. So he's Fox, making more mat passes right now. Yep, he's setting up Rod Bell. Now we're across the finish line. It's Falk leading. Drake second. Tanner Stack has done it. He's climbed all the way to third. Now it's Rod Bell clinging to the fourth place position. A Seth Hamaker trying to make a run around the outside. Done. Got him up the inside going by the billboards. Unbelievable. So our top four from Moto 1 are back to being the top four in Moto 2. It wasn't the way they'd like to have done it. So now the real question, Mike, is, is that order going to stay the same? Well, Can Hamaker go after Stack? Well, we're 10 minutes into the race, 10 minutes to go. Uh, halfway, there's still a lot of racing to go. But you know what? Hamaker's going for the W. He wants to win. Falk out front. We, we might have a situation with Hamaker with a 1-4 and Falk with a 4-1 going into the moto. And then T-Stack with a 3-3. Three, three, so yeah. that's all. Drake a 2-2. Two, two. It's oh. crazy right now. Oh, that's a lap. I think it's a lap rider, yeah. So the next rider that Hammaker wants to try to get is Stack. The next rider Stack wants to get is Drake. I don't know if there's time. Falk holding a six-second lead and Drake can move any further forward. And the thing is, now that these guys have a clear track in front of them, we can actually see the real lap times not coming through the True. track of passing. Oh, yeah, that'll be interesting. The next time around, Hamaker on the 51 is the rider we're watching. First photo winner down on the first lap. Moves all the way up to fourth. There's T-Stack on the 38. And there's your leader, Falk. He's ridden a perfect race so far. He has. He has been perfect. Whole shot, and he's leading the race. Looking at a 4-1 right now to take the, uh, the the lowest points going into the third moto with a 4-1. The EBR performance Yamaha of Tanner Stack in the mix right now with a pair of Troy Lee Designs, KTMs out front, Falk and Drake. Mitchell Fell comes around with a lap time of 156.6. His teammate, Derek Drake, 155, 154.5. He just knocked off over two seconds that lap. He might have a shot at winning this one. Meanwhile, yeah. look at this. Stack and Hamaker are about to mix it up for third. Man, we got a battle going on for third now. Tanner Stack and Seth Hamaker. This is for third in the moto. Oh, a little mistake by T-Stack coming out of turn. Takes a look back. Woo, that was a close one. Stack knows he's there now. Well, here's the thing, Jason. As a racer, he knows he's caught him. He's faster. But now he's got to make the pass. And in order to make the pass, it might have to be a little bit of aggressive pass to get by because Tanner Stack, he's a rough, tough kid. He ain't just going to roll over and just give it to him. And I hear you guys say it all the time. If you, if you get stuck behind the guy for a lap or two, the speed gains that you had, they start to go away. You start to ride that guy's pace. Yeah, and that's the worst thing. You don't want to start riding the guy in front of you's pace because you're slowing down to his pace. When in reality, you caught him, you're faster. Yeah, yep. So Stack doing a good job right now, weathering this storm with Hamaker right behind him. The KTM guys have stretched it out. Drake with that 154 lap time has pulled away from these two. And actually, Hamaker's lost some ground. This is the opportunity he needed to get yep. Stack. All right, one mistake back there in the uh, rut, says our man Megawatt. That's what cost Hamaker. You can see he's reset and focused again. 13 minutes into this uh, second moto. We got seven minutes to go. We got a great battle on the track for third place between Seth Hamaker and Garrett. Uh, sorry about that. Tanner Stack. Tanner Stack. <laughs> Derek Drake is up ahead in second, so we're going to keep the stopwatch on him to see if he can close the gap let's again the, on Mitchell Falk. Let's look at the lap times again this lap as Mitchell Falk and the yeah. rise come around. Mitchell Falk, a 156.1. Derek Drake comes around at a 154.9, so he knocked Ooh. off another 1.2 seconds. We could see KTM versus KTM for the moto win here. Drake trying to track him down. Hamaker is back on stack. Okay. Hamaker is right there. <laughs> Look at the lap times. 155.0 versus a 155.0 by Hamaker and T-Stack. Yeah, identical exactly, times. I exactly identical times. But Drake was still just a little bit faster, just one-tenth quicker than either one of them. Rest of the field, you got Rod Bell fifth, Winter sixth, Kobush seventh, Justin Thompson, Jair Mitchell, Josh Guffey. That's your top ten. Wyatt Lyons, fifth, 11, Ezra Hastings, Zane Barrett, McClellan Heil and Siren Naren round out the top 15. 
What's going to be the order is, at the end? The teammates are going to battle. The teammates are going to battle, 100%. You can see that visually on the screen that we're watching here on Racer TV right now. Clearly, Derek Drake is picking up time inch by inch, corner by corner, on his teammate Mitchell Falk. And uh, he wants to be, a, hey, you know what? I'm the big dog on the KTM team. I'm in first. I should be first. What is that feeling like? Obviously, guys get tired of track is rough and it's getting a little hotter out here. But when you know you're starting to catch the guy and you can see the lead, what is that adrenaline like? It's just blood in the water. Yeah. It just gives you that adrenaline like, hey, I'm faster than the guy in front of me. And if it's your teammate, oh, that's even more the incentive to go after him. <laughs> you don't ever want to lose to your teammate. Uh, they got the same exact equipment, the TLD team. So we're going to have a battle. Falk against Drake for the lead. And Drake had to work for this one. He was six seconds back in second place. Tanner Stack still third over Hamaker at the moment, then Rod Bell in fifth. If Drake can do this, and that's a big can, that's certainly not a guarantee. If we go back to that battle for third, Drake could be looking at two one moto scores, controlling his own destiny. We got two laps to go, Jason. This wow. is going to be an all out battle between the teammates for this, for this second moto win. And Hamaker has not been able to get Stack. T nope. Stack is holding up. But look at the gap, 0.7 between the two of them. Yeah, uh, Hamaker's hoping for a mistake or an opening. Yeah, Hamaker, a couple of mistakes, says our man Megawatt, because he's pushing so hard to try to find an opening on stack. I'm going to head down to the podium here in a moment. The question is going to be, what is the order? As they come around through the Ten Commandments, Derek Drake pushing hard towards get to his his teammate, Mitchell Falk, this is going to be a battle. Tanner Stack and Seth Hammock are still battling very tooth and nail for third place in this second moto. Only about a second, second and a half between the two. Yeah, rather interesting uh, I, as we watch this, how and, and I heard you mention it a couple of different times, Mike, how the cream rises to the top here. Our top four riders for moto number one. Yeah. This is really setting a good stage and a good war, I think, uh, for the, the final moto, especially if these four can get out front early on in the third final moto. Can you imagine what that's going to be well, like? Well, honestly, looking at this, all four of these riders, they're going to be so close in points. we got a 4-1 versus a 1-4. And then Drake, uh, or Tana Stack with a 3-3. Three, three. That's six points. And Mitchell Falk and Seth Hamaker with a 4-1 and a 1-4. That's five points each. Yeah, so Drake would actually be leading this, it looks like, with a 2-2 and a score That's of four. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Consistency is good. May pay the huge dividend. So, ba basically, whoever beats two in the last moto That's is going to win the title. That's pretty much Here right. we are in the last lap of the 250A second moto. Mitchell Falk, Derek Drake, Tanner Stack, Seth Hamaker in fourth, Justin Rodbell fifth, Lance Kobish sixth, Dustin Winter in seventh. Justin Thompson in eighth, Jiree Mitchell in ninth, and Wyatt Lionsmith in tenth. Well, just clo moments away from closing this one out, as we said, about a lap or so to go as our leader will be checking in here in just a few moments, Mitchell Fall. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. little mistake by, by Falk. That's going to let Drake right up in there now. That's what I was getting ready to say. Only a two-second lead, and the way that Drake has been riding as of lately, this could uh, yield a pretty good battle by the time the checkers fly, and that's exactly what it's doing, that far end of Storyland. Here they there, come Mike. through Storyland one last time in the second moto, and Drake has definitely put the screws to his teammate. He's pushing hard, and so is Tanner Stack and Seth Hamaker for third. This is a great, great battle. So into that Rocky Mountain sweeper turn one last time. The moguls are getting deeper and bigger, but you know, I have to think this track looks to have smoothed out a little bit from yesterday's action that we were watching out there. Yep. Those, those, yep. those uh, acceleration bumps were huge. The track yesterday was brutal. It was gnarly. Oh, here we go, here we go. Last corner coming in. Uh, Mitchell Fox going for it. Derek Drake. Oh. He's gonna pass his teammate in the final corner. Oh! Oh, Lapper! Oh! oh. oh the wow. Lapper held him up. Teammates, first and second. 
That Mars. was a great battle. That was a great battle. And that shows you right there the desire that also Derek Drake uh, has within himself and how bad he wants this championship. He rode right down to where he wanted to be and make that last He ride. beat his teammate by 0.4 of a second. That's less than a half a second. Wow. Tanner Stack will finish up in the number three spot at 2.8 seconds back. Seth Hamaker, another second back in fourth place. Looks like Rod Bell will round out the top five. But as we talk there, Toward the end of the moto, Falk, Drake, Stack, and Hamburger, those guys very tightly knit as far as the championship points are concerned when we head into the third and final moto. And like you said, Mike, whoever wins that one may very well win the national title in this class. Well, Drake with the 2-2, that's four points. Mitchell Falk with a 4-1, and Hamburger with a 1-4. A so, yeah, basically whoever beats who in the uh, the third moto is going to be the champion. Lance Kobus checking in at the number six spot aboard the 99. Dustin Winter is seventh. Eighth is Jairi Mitchell. Justin Thompson in ninth. And Joshua Gumby rounds out the top ten. And Jason Wigand is on the podium ready for more celebrations. Yeah, you cannot get better championship math than that. Four riders tied going into the third moto. This guy did what he needed to do. He had to get that moto win after the fourth in moto one. It was tight. It was close. But he held off his teammate to get it. Crown him with the gold. He's getting the TLD hat on. And he's also our whole shot award winner. So let's hear it for Mitchell Falk. Cool. Take a photo of that. Thank you, Mitchell. Got it. All right, the pressure was on in that moto. The fourth in moto one was good, but I know that you wanted better than that. So what was the focus coming into this one? You had to get that moto win. Focus was the start, just to get the best start I could. It's been a long time since I got a full shot, it felt like. And uh, like I kind of told myself, I was like, well, I used to be good on starts, and now here I am. And uh, I just said to myself, I'm going to do this one. And uh, stayed concentrated, got the start, pulled a nice little gap. And then they started coming for me last two laps. and. Uh, Held him off. Yeah, you're feeling some pressure there at the end. It got close. Yeah, definitely that last lap in the sand section, I was kind of stuck behind a lap or two. And uh, Derek, I knew when I got stuck behind them, he was going to be right there. And uh, he, he showed me the wheel. I just tried to wheel it around the outside of him, though. Who do you want to thank, Mitchell? Joyly Designs, Red Bull, GoPro, KTM, 100%, FMF, Dunlop, Ethica, Stance. My mom and dad, my brother Hunter, my girlfriend Haley, uh, Nathan Ramsey, and uh, everyone from Orange Brigade, thank you so much. I'm going to ask one other thing. I'll ask all three of you guys is, what's it going to be like going into that last moto? It's basically winner take all. Yeah, that's uh, what the is all about, the three-moto format. And uh, you have the best first moto, but I've done the second moto, and here I'm tied. All right, this is going to be good. Let's hear it for the gold medalist in 250A, Mitchell Falk. And we'll bring second place on up. It was so close right down to the end. This guy's sitting on 2-2. Uh, two, two. Thank you, Mitchell. Let's get our second place finisher on up here, the number 33. I think he's putting the, the jersey back on, trying to get cooled off. It's not typical Loretta's hot today, but it has at least reached normal summertime temperatures for pretty much anywhere else in the country. Well, they gave us a heck of a show here, battling down to the final lap. Let's bring him on up. And then we'll also get, uh, <laughs> he's got working on the jersey. I got it. <laughs> All right, we're going to go for third. T-Stack's got the jersey on. I'll tell you what, this guy was under pressure. He came through traffic. He got to third. He held off Hamaker. Earns a bronze. Let's hear it for T-Stack. All right, Tanner, come over here to the center. You had your own battle going with Seth Hamaker, and you held him off the whole time. Yeah, I didn't even really realize he was there until about, like, Look, you've been strong late in both of these motos, man. You got to be proud of that. Yeah, me and the Pumex guys have been uh, training a lot, doing 30 minute motos and stuff like that. South Carolina, where it's deadly hot. Um, so, yeah, just been working really hard. And what about this third moto, man? If you go out there and win it, the title's yours. Yeah, uh, definitely puts a lot of pressure, but, uh, you know, just going to try and get a little shot of my race. Who do you want to thank, Tanner? My mom, my dad, everyone from Pumex, uh, EBR, Altus Motorsports. Pipes, 
uh, uh, Alpine Star, 100% uh, answer. There it is, folks. Let's hear it for Tanner Stack. And now we'll get our second place finisher on up here. A great ride. Almost got the moto win. He's in championship contention as well. What a shootout we're going to have going into the final moto. Let's hear it for Derek Drake. Well, it was cool. You got into the second. You got a six-second gap, but you didn't give up. You went for it. Yeah, definitely. Um, I went to gate number one again, and then the water truck came out, and I'm like, oh, I kind of put my spirits down. But, yeah, as soon as I stood up to get third, get my weight back, I got uh, weight off the rip tire, and so it slipped, and um, yeah, I came around about 10, 12, and um, made some quick passes up the, up the front, and um, I had fun up with my teammate Mitchell. We, we, we do this during the week, so it's pretty familiar territory, and so, yeah, third moto should be a good one. Did you have a spot? Did you almost get a pass there in that final lap? Yeah, I did. Um, I was closer than I thought, and I'm like, oh, I'm going for it. Went to the inside, put the weight on my outside peg, let it track. <laughs> And I was going to the outside for the finish, and I knew that inside rut was like pretty king. So, held it wide open. There's a lap up there. I hit, my, I hit the lap with my front four guard and stopped me back. So, we got second right behind him, and be a good third moto. Yeah, same thing I've asked everybody else, man. What's this going to be like going to a moto where it's winner take all? Uh, definitely, <coughs> definitely gate strategy. Uh, know where you are and uh, go to the burnout area for the, before the moto. Make sure your starts are on point. So that's all it's going to be. Who do you want to thank, Derek? <laughs> My whole family, Rebel, KTM, Spy, FMF, Trolley Designs, uh, Dunlop. Uh, my whole family, my mechanic, uh, my mechanic Tyler, the short family, and um, you know, just everyone in my corner. Thank you. There it is, Derek Drake, silver medal in 250A.